Welcome back to the Boys Gurus Boys Report. It's been quite a while. Um, I apologize for that. I actually was looking into the offensive line and honestly, um, outside of the big guns, uh, which are going to go in the top half of the draft in the first round, uh, there were a few that, that have caught my eye, but I, I wanted to put a, a focus this time on the safety position. Uh, honestly, there were more highlights and scouting reports on those positions at, the, at this point um, than the O-line. Uh, now that April's here, you get to see a lot of highlights and a lot more um, video and, and scouting and whatnot um, you know, from the various sites that are out there um, you know, coming up. So uh, I thought it'd be a better time to do the offensive line a little bit later. Um, and the safeties are a little more, the skill positions, you tend to have more film um, highlights, YouTube, but you know, that, that tends to be more prevalent with those kind of players, uh, receivers. Uh, so I think I'm going to start with those positions and then move on uh, to the nitty gritty um, as we go on. Um, it's going to be busy. It's going to be a busy month. Um, I got a busy month ahead of me in a lot of other ways, so it's going to be tough to try to catch up on everything, but I'm going to do my very best. So, um, in regards to safeties, uh, I think this position is very crucial. Uh, we haven't had a starting level safety in quite some time. Um, two safeties, really. I mean, uh, once Roy Williams just totally tanked uh, after Woodson retired, we've, we've always... You know, we've had one safety here um, and there, but you know, with Hamlin, he helped a little bit, well, actually a lot of it. Um, but we need we need another one. I think in today's NFL, you have to have an impact safety uh, to go anywhere. You got your your Bob Sanders, you got your um, your uh, little Arn Landry's, your Dawkins. Um, I mean, they're a little bit up there in age with Dawkins and like a Rodney Harrison. Um, Bob Sanders, I mentioned earlier. Um, I know there's a couple guys I'm forgetting here, and I apologize to those impact guys. Um, but that position seems to be a playmaking position. Uh, Ed Reed and Paul Mallow, those are the guys that came to my um, that I was tongue tied on. Um, but you need those guys. You need the guys that that can do it all. That can kind of be playmakers, be it in the run game, be it in the pass game. Uh, unfortunately, this draft, I don't really think there is a safety of that caliber. Um, so I'm very much opposed to drafting for need. Um, I think safety is a big need, but I don't believe in reaching for need. Uh, we used to do that all the time. Um, at the end of our heyday in the 90s, we would get you know, backup running back in the second round because you know, we needed it because you know Emmett was uh, in, in the Hamburg thing when Emmett retired Emmett was getting up there uh, we just like we would draft them for need like we draft we reached for Quincy Carter there was just a ton of players that you were just like you know Greg Ellis to me was the biggest one I mean yeah you know we had the eighth pick in the draft and and Moss is there I think it was the eighth pick it was top ten anyway Moss is there talent you know would have put kept the offense on on a high level and boom, you know, we go for a need. And then the next year was Ecubon. We didn't need him. We drafted Ellis. It just I'm a very much opposed to that. And so with that being said, this safety class, the value I think is good where we're picking first. In the fifty one range, there's some good value there. Um, but I don't think it's good enough to justify at fifty one. I think um in the third round, and then in the fourth round, I think you can get not as big a drop off um, in that position than perhaps another position like a D line, an O line. Um, so I think you'd want to go with that position first, receiver as well, um, and then take your safety later. And so with that being said, I have my rankings and in, in the little article I kind of put with this video. I'll just go over it briefly. Um, the number one guy I like right now is Patrick Chung. I'm, I'm kind of hopping on this bandwagon a little bit. Uh, I saw and, and what sold me on, on him more or less was that interception return um, that he didn't return. He didn't do it but his teammate did and he totally laid out a Michigan offensive lineman. Michigan offensive linemen are, are built a little bit differently than 
uh, linemen from other programs. Just totally laid one guy out and then threw his body on another guy. So it's just that kind of, um, and you could just feel his energy when you watch his videos. It was almost like it was tangible. You could almost feel it. Um, more so than, than any other guy, really. David Bruton is very interesting. Uh, he's got some leadership uh, being with Notre Dame. Uh, he was a combine machine. And so he's very intriguing because it seems to me, as of late, the Cowboys like to go after these measurable type of guys, these physical freak kind of guys, like an Isaiah Stanback. Um, it seems like that's, that's where their mindset is. Um, as opposed to, you know, like the the D backs, all the D backs we were drafting were um, late, were really high uh, speed guys, and I like that. I, I think that's a, a smart thing to do. Um, and Bruton kind of fits that bill. He's a freakish athlete. Uh, Michael Hamlin, I like uh, being a four year starter. Uh, Delmas, I have a little lower just because I don't think he is valuable at even 51. He's going to be picked well before then. I just, like I said, I want you want a, an impact player. Not just a starter, but an impact guy with your first pick. I don't care if it's 51. I don't care if it's one. Um, I'm, I'm all about getting an impact. And I think with other positions, we can get impact. Perhaps a Ron Brace uh, at 51. I think he would absolutely be an impact guy. But that's for another time. Uh, Rashad Johnson is a safe pick. <sighs> yeah, it, the, the safe picks just don't do it for me. Um, it, with with your high end picks, it just you know safe as far as character. Yes, you know you don't you. But as far as ability is concerned, you know I'm I'm not I'm not all about that. So, um, and then there's guys like Chip Vaughn. Uh, Will Moore. Will Moore was a guy, he, he's the kind of guy that if we draft the safety at 51, it's going to be that guy. I'm telling you right now, it's going to be a guy, you know, hoping to get his 2007 campaign, not his 2008 campaign, uh, where he was an impact guy. And I happened to see quite a few Missouri games uh, that season. He was all over the field. Um, he would be the guy, I think, that we're going to target if we go safety in round two. I don't think we are. I think we're going to go another position. Keep an eye on him. Um, and that's pretty much it in regards to the safety position. Um, I, I've seen some comments in the videos talking about Sensabaugh being freakish and whatnot. I, I don't think they anticipate him being starting material, so um, I wouldn't anticipate that either. But we will draft the safety. We have quite a few picks. We might package them uh, to perhaps move up. Uh, in like the third round to get a chung, maybe package our fourth. Maybe he's the guy we're eyeing. I hope so. I think he he has that upside. He has that that intangible that catches my eye, and and I, I like him out of all the safeties. Uh, I hope he's the one, uh, but I hope he's not the one at 51. Peace.